Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Inferno Paternal, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you what these so-called stokers are, what round they spawn on, what map they're on, what they do, and how to kill them properly. Stay tuned. Also, if you do like the video, feel free to leave a like, share it with your friends, or just do whatever you want to support the channel. Anything helps me out. Alright, now before we get started, I just want to give a huge thanks to all the support I've gotten on the Elemental Catalyst Zombie Explanation. It makes me really happy that you guys are enjoying this new Zombies content because I really wasn't too sure how everybody was going to like the new Zombies content compared to my Rainbow stuff. But apparently you guys are liking it and for all my Rainbow fans that are watching this, do not worry. I will make sure to do a Rainbow stream this week along with a Black Ops 4 stream this week. Alright, let's get into it. Now first off, let's just, let's just talk about what is a Stoker. It's pretty much, I'm gonna call it like, just think of Hulk. You, everybody knows Hulk. Marvel, you know Hulk. Big, big green dude. He's pretty much Hulk, but in zombies. A big old Hulk guy that, that moans and groans and stomps with an axe. Alright, now let's talk about what these stokers do. Now these stokers are very lethal. They will, they'll start off a little slow, but once they see you, they'll, they'll yell, which enrages them, and then they'll start running or charging at you, and they'll run pretty fast, so you have to go at a sprinting speed just to keep away from them. And if they get to you and they hit you with your axe, that does a total of 100 damage to you, which is pretty, pretty, pretty crazy, man, that's, that's half of your health. And then after hitting you, or if you're from a far distance away from him, he will throw a fireball at you, which will do 50 damage. Alright, now we're going to be talking about what map and where you can find this stoker. You can find this stoker on the Voyage of Despair map. This is the map that's a part of the Chaos story, so it's not a part of the story with Rigtofen and Nikolai and all of them. It is a part of the one with Ra, or, you know, the gods and all that stuff. And it is on the map of Voyage of Despair, or the Titanic. Alright, now let's talk about what round these things spawn on. Uh, you notice that the first 10 rounds are pretty peaceful. Uh, after around round 9, the Catalysts start to spawn. And then after round 10, the Stokers start, start to spawn. And it just gets chaotic real quick. Now let's talk about how to kill these things properly. The way to kill these things is to shoot at the glowing spot in their chest. Yes, the glowing spot in their chest. And if you can hit it just right, then you will be able to kill them. The way I think of it is, remember on Dorizon, on one of the steps to get the fire bow, you had to hit the fire rock directly in the middle, and that's how you got the thing to uh, proceed onto your quest. If you don't shoot him in his weak spot, then it's pretty much, you're not going to be able to defeat him. This dude is really hard. You really got to know how to kill him. But if you're just spraying and praying at him, I'm pretty sure you'll eventually hit his weak spot. Also, some other extra information about this guy. When he's charging up a fireball to hit the throw at you, you might be able to shoot the fireball and it explode. Because I don't know what really happened here if you're watching this clip right now, but I was shooting at him while he had a fireball in his hand and it exploded. So maybe that's another way to kind of weaken him or stop him from throwing a fireball. I have no idea, dude. This is a really weird mob. So yeah, that's about it. Those are the Stokers. <laughs> you know, there's not much to it. It's just one little zombie that comes out. He's very challenging, and let me let me just let you know that as as the farther you get into the rounds, the more spo the more Stokers spawn throughout the round. Like, um, if you're on like round 20, I'm gonna be honest. There's probably gonna be about around three to four Stokers that are charging at you. While there's a whole horde of zombies mixed with catalysts coming after you, it's pretty insane, dude. I gotta say, Voyage of Despair is a really difficult map, at least for me. You know, I'm not no Mr. T Lexified, but yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that's about it for this zombies explanation. Hope you guys liked it, and if you did, leave a like and share with your friends. Also, if you're new to the channel and like what you see, feel free to subscribe. But I know I said it in the beginning, but I'm just going to say it again. Thank you so much for the amazing support I've gotten on the Elemental Catalyst Zombies Explanation. And it just it means a lot to me that you guys are enjoying this new type of content. Because really, I didn't think you guys would. Um, so, um, the plans for this week, if you guys are wondering, um, I feel like I'm going to be doing the next, the next upload is probably going to be a rainbow stream. If it's not going to be a rainbow stream, then it's going to be a Black Ops 4 stream. It may be a Black Ops 4 stream, then a rainbow stream, or a rainbow stream, then a Black Ops 4 stream. I'm not too sure. It just depends on how much time I have and what my schedule is. I was planning to do a zombie stream today, but it didn't work out. So you guys got this video instead. But like always, guys, if you want to know anything about my life, you want to talk to me, you want to just chill, 
go check out my medias links in the description we got the discord we got the instagram we got the twitter you just go check me out boys uh we especially the discord we need more people on our discord we mean we need more active people and it'd be pretty cool if you could join our discord it's really fun dude we fight each other it's pretty cool and yeah hope you guys having a great day don't let anybody break your stride and i'll see you guys in the next video